Thank you, Lisa. That was a very good presentation by the measurements group. We are closely, we are going to wrap up the activities of the DNS hackathon. Before I give the floor to Nico, I know he has the details, but I remind you that the DNS hackathon activity has been conducted in the last three events. And on Monday, the day of the tutorials, we post a number of challenges related to the DNS. We give access to a virtualized uh, infrastructure that I can generally offer and they can work at it all week. And on uh, Friday, we show the advance, uh, the, the progress and their challenges. We had 12 participants. In Panama, we had, I don't remember, but it was like something like 60. But uh, in a way, it's an activity that uh, always arouses some uh, interest. So, Nico, you have the floor. Well, uh, it's it's uh, the afternoon already, but as uh, we haven't had lunch, it's still the morning. So as Carlos said, just to give you some a, a brief description of uh, the hackathon uh, uh, tasks, well, there were two big parts that don't have an established order. Uh, it's not necessary to complete all the tasks. You can complete the task that you wish and uh, move as fast as, or, or as uh, far as you can. And uh, the tasks are divided into two. Uh, initially, there's a part of a server, recursive server um, uh, configuration. First, you have to configure two recursive uh, uh, servers, one that has one and the other unbound. Uh, and then in those recursive uh, servers to make sure that you have validation of a DNSSEC and configured minimization of the, in the two ways, strict and non-strict, and to check the differences there and to configure if you wish to move forward to, to configure the hyperlocal of uh, the uh, root zone that uh, is downloaded from servers of ICON for that purpose, the complete root uh, part, and leave it in the recursive server so that the first uh, step of maybe locally in the server that improves resilience and uh, the speed, especially the speed of resolution. And the second part was on authoritative servers. There you have to uh, configure one from scratch on a core server and two public servers and it's one and two, and uh, to configure the zone transfer using the XFR. Uh, and then uh, finally to sign the zone that you created and to check that it all works with the DNSSEC from the cover, recursive and authoritative servers. I have the list here of all the participants, and I'm going to acknowledge all of them because Many of them have different levels of progress. And there's one, Luciano Montin, that uh, was the one that apparently um, completed all the levels, configuring to the two recursive uh, servers and the authoritative uh, uh, server and the zone. And then I'm going to read the user ID. Um, if you didn't put the names at uh, Luciano dot Munchin, Audit Sec twenty four AGURH, Mingas Karen five, Hervas, Matias, Anger, J. Ramirez, Pablo Point Cuello, Zunina one nine nine six, De Rubio, Christian Oli eighty two, and then Carlos and myself, but well, that's just to monitor the system to see how each is progressing and to collaborate and to help you with the I want to thank all the participants and with Carlos and with Hugo Salgado we are already thinking of the next event wherever it is uh, to adding uh, some more tasks and working maybe with a local partner to make it more interesting for all. So a round of applause for the participants. And uh, thank you all.